Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal. And today, we're gonna use this really pretty artwork from Dollar Tree to upcycle this coffee can. So, let's get started. This particular container that we're gonna be working on is a 34.5 ounce container. And um, it's just a Kroger brand coffee can. And a few months ago, I did do a tutorial on this particular one and I will post the uh, link in the description. All I did was I took the artwork and it didn't stretch all the way around so I ended up spray painting the back of the can. So I'll list that tutorial below. And this looks so pretty because it's normally sitting in my kitchen and I have some bouquets, um, a nice pretty bouquet sitting on the top of it. If you have not stopped by that section in the Dollar Tree where they have all of this artwork, um, you're really missing out. Um, all I'm doing is just kind of removing the frame on here and I'm keeping these glass pieces because you just never know what you might use them for in the future. And then you just remove the artwork. And this is really pretty because it has a little bit of sparkle to it. And so we're going to cover our can and I found two of these because I really fell in love with it. So they're very easy to remove. Just bending this out, and I'm keeping all of the pieces just because you just never know. So it's actually that simple. And for a dollar, you can customize your container. And these are easy enough to cut down to size. I'm going to go ahead and remove this label. And I probably can leave it on there if I want to. I probably could, but I just feel better removing the label. all of it doesn't come off and that's okay just get as much of it off as you can and you can do this on any size uh, coffee container me and my husband are coffee lovers so we have a lot of these empty containers and I just can't throw them out okay so let's see how this fits on here this is just a little bit a little bit too long for my container and so I'm gonna to have to cut it down and so I have to decide whether I want to cut down the top or the bottom I do want to keep Jardin in there um, that's French for garden I believe and I'm going to go ahead and cut just a little bit of this off That's the nice thing about this is that you get to customize this however you want. So I'm just folding that down. I'm going to I still have a lot of the artwork. I don't mind missing that piece at the top. I'm going to put both of these together and just cut them together. Let's see, I'll fold both of them down. And if you want to get a, a ruler and measure it, you can.
is so pretty. And I think I'm going to end up putting this in uh, maybe one of the bathrooms. with some flowers in it. Maybe bring out some of the colors if I can find flowers around in this color or maybe even this color. Or maybe just go with a lighter color. I don't know. So that's one of the things I'll have to search for. And so now I'm going to Mod Podge it onto the container. It's a great way to transform a coffee can. You can use this as a storage container as well. Last time I did this project on that other can I showed you, I ended up hot gluing it and it just wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. So I said next time I'm going to use Mod Podge and see how it turns out. So we'll see by the end of this video. Okay, I like to do Mod Podging in sections, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that, just kind of place it on there. Let that sit for a little bit. And this paper has a little bit of a thickness to it, which is good but it's enough where you can still shape it. And of course, look what I'm doing. I'm actually putting it on upside down. So let's turn it this way. Okay, and that's all right. Glad I noticed that at the beginning, huh? <laughs> okay. I'm just going to do this in sections, and of course you see that coming off, so let me just go ahead and add more to this. All right, that should work. Don't think it likes being pulled off like that. Okay, smoothing that down a little bit. And already, look how pretty that looks. And I just wanted to share this quick and easy project with you. Um, it's New Year's Eve right now, so Happy New Year to all of you. We're going to make 2017 a great, great year. And I am going to, now if I want, I can cut it exactly like this so it's a continuation. Um, I'm going to just do it like this. It's okay. Just lining it right up there. Uh, one of the things I really want to do for um, 2017, as far as uh, if you, any of you have crafting goals, please list, list them below. I would love to do more painting and drawing and, um, and also coloring. Maybe like learning how to do different shades and things. Um, I have Copic markers, but I only I only do some of the basic coloring. But I also would love to draw and paint. And um, if you haven't seen, um, if you're interested also in drawing and painting, two that I really like um, who teach this is um, Angela Anderson and Cinnamon Cooney. 
Uh, so I'm going to be checking out lots of their videos in 2017 so I can learn some stuff. I love their teaching style. Um, and they make it just, they inspire you to just create. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's one of the things I really like. And that's one of the things I try to do on my channel as well. So look how that's looking. Yeah, so that's one of the things I like to do. Draw and I like to paint. But I want to take it up a notch. So that's my goal. One of my goals. I have many for 2017. So list your goals, some of your goals below. We can do this together. Okay, so I'm going to kind of end it right there and then I'm going to cut off that excess. Another goal I have is actually to use some stuff that I already have in my stash. Um, I recently moved so I've got so much um, stuff that I can I want to do more projects using stash so we'll probably do some mindless crafting and I'll just take you on that journey with me. And look how quick and easy that was. You can do a ton of these. You can do matching ones. They had so much artwork um, at the Dollar Tree that um, I didn't want to leave. I felt like I needed to go through every single piece. It was so much fun. I am just going to go ahead and cut this. And end it right there. And all I'm this paper is strong enough so that I can kind of smooth out any of the bubbles underneath there without tearing it and so that's what I'm doing right now and look how pretty that is so I just transformed a coffee can and I can use this as a container in the bathroom I could actually use this as a crafting container too um, so I could put all my craft supplies in here as well and um, or you can put it on a vanity use it in the restroom, whatever. So you tell me what you would use this for. I think I may end up using this for some craft supplies. Maybe. Um, originally I was going to put it in the bathroom, but it looks really nice. We'll see what, how it goes. But I want to thank each and every one of you um, on supporting the channel uh, I love what I do. I love teaching. I, I love creating. And I have learned so much from so many of you in the year 2016. And uh, many of you say that I inspire you. But when I see all of the comments that come through, you truly inspire me. So I wish you a prosper prosperous and blessed 2017. And I look forward to sharing even more with you. So hugs to all of you. I love you guys. Y'all have been just awesome. And so keep those comments coming. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.